What is up? It's a figure hunter, and today we have the initial review for the Whoop Body undergarments. So I stocked up on four of these puppies and I'm going to be testing the heart rate accuracy and overall usability of these over the next two weeks. So this is the initial review and I'm actually going to share two workout results with you in the midst of this review. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. Lots, lots, and lots to come um, here on the Fit Gear Ch Hunter channel. So when I thought conceptually about what the body line represented. I thought, eh, it's okay. You know, it's you can wear it in a shirt, you can wear it in a sports bra, or you can wear it in pants, you can wear it in all, you know, these different variety of different things. But when I thought about it logically, the idea of being able to wear it in underwear is absolutely freaking genius. Because unless you're taking a shower or unless some other very positive things are happening in your life, you've got underwear on or you should if not you're nasty but you've got underwear on and so you're gonna have your device on all the time and underwear is not like okay do i want to wear a t-shirt today do i not want to wear a t-shirt today so the t-shirt is useful or the t-shirt is not useful underwear always useful so we're going to look at a hands-on of this unveiling i'll show you what comes in the package whoop always does a fantastic job with the packaging we're going to look at some initial results but I do think this is a pretty sweet game changer. Now, I test a lot of devices. I test a lot of watches. And so I was having to wear the Whoop on the bicep. And I just had to leave it there permanently. And it drove me crazy. Number one, it would just get caught in things and sometimes roll over. Number two, I wear a suit to work. And so I would shower and I just wouldn't take it off getting in the shower and then so I'd have this like absorption of water and we've all seen that whether you have the band or you wear it on the bicep you got this absorption of water that goes into your clothes or you go to lean on a piece of paper when you're writing something and it soaks up the paper you got to put your arm on your pants and it soaks into your pants it's just a big pain in the butt and so wearing it on your underwear is genius plus if you wear your band all the time then your band's gonna get stinky over time or it's gonna degenerate, it's just gonna wear down over time. But if you wear it in underwear and you're rotating your underwear like every good person should, you're gonna always have it just sort of fresh. And so I was thinking you really could buy a stockpile of these and they're not gonna be cheap. You could buy the pro membership and you can get a discount and whatever. So it's, it's definitely not a cost-effective means, but it is a solution or use-effective means. So with that, let's look at a hands-on and then look at the first two results and come back together and talk about it. All right, so here you have it. It comes in this sleek little black packaging. There's a little tear strip at the top when you first get it. And um, I think it's actually got Velcro, I mean not Velcro, um, like a Ziploc baggie. Why? Uh, maybe you'll use this. I don't think so. Um, obviously, it's uh, whatever polyamide is, cotton and elastic. And, you know, some basic recommendation. Who irons their stuff? Iron Templo. If you iron your underwear, you got bigger issues. Um, really, really slick packaging. This is the charcoal. So let's get it out and you will see exactly what comes with it. So it comes like this. Bam. So it gives you a little basic overview. It's super easy. I didn't get the pod out of what I'm wearing now to show you how it looks when it goes in. It just looks exactly like that. You put the little uh, clasp side or you know the ridges side in last. I don't know that that really matters. And then it's just got a little Velcro. But let's take a look at the quality of it. Um, so it's got a huge band. And what I'm noticing is that it's, it's a really stretchy material. Feels like neoprene almost. So it's really comfortable. One thing that is a problem or is lame, um, and this might be TMI, but the front section doesn't have a flap. So you are flapless in this and you just have to figure out another way to use the bathroom. So everything's really solid. And here is the simple removal piece. You slide the little puck in there and it just goes right in. This is no clear, there's nothing in between. It just holds right there and having done it with multiple workouts or at least two workouts now and worn it for two days um, or worn versions of this, you know, for two days, it is 
not a problem at all. So this big flap maybe in the front gets sort of squished down. I'm always worried like, oh gosh, is it flopping over? It hasn't flopped over at all. It hasn't flopped over in a workout. It hasn't flopped over in life. It hasn't flopped over when I'm sleeping. No problems whatsoever. And all the functions are working as they should. Sleep is detected as it should. You know, workouts are detected as it should. It's actually amazing to me. It actually is surprising, and maybe it shouldn't be surprising because a lot of those detections are based on heart rate and picking up changes in heart rate, but it works awesome. It works freaking awesome, and you don't have to wear a stinking armband. Um, you can just have this on your regular, on your body, on your clothing. So what's more important, I did not know if this was gonna get the same heart rate accuracy because I tested all the heart rate accuracy when wearing the 4.0 on your wrist and it was like 70 something percent accurate on the low 70 side. So that's missing 25% of the high strain levels which is actually skewing your data and making your data not accurate. And in some cases it was like 50% accurate which is missing all the high level intensity parts which changes your strain score. I wore it on the forearm and it was like 80 something percent accurate. And I wore it on the bicep and it was 95% accurate. It was really good accuracy on the bicep, all relative things considered. So I think, well, how is this gonna fare? Is it gonna be like 70% accurate and then it's a done deal? This is not effective, it doesn't work. Is your hip providing enough blood flow to get heart rate accuracy? I don't know, I just kinda thought, I don't know that that's gonna do it. But let's take a look at the first two workouts and see for ourselves. All right, so what are the results for the first two CrossFit workouts coming up compared to a chest strap? Workout number one. It was a lot of super heavy um, power clean cycles in the first part, um, working to heavier and heavier weights. It was basically two power clean or two squat cleans, a push jerk, and then a split jerk. Um, over the course of every two minutes for eight minutes. And then this back half was a Murph version. It was a hundred or a thousand meter run with 10, 20, 30 um, chest of bars, push ups, and air squats with the weight vest. So it didn't work perfectly, but to me, this is excellent results. We're going to run the calculation at the very end when I do the full analysis, but this is hyper good results when it comes to spikes in heart rate. That is fantastic results when it comes to quick variation, quick changes in heart rate. It kept up excellently and even kept up for the most part in the workout. And then workout number two is something worth seeing. Look at that. Look at that. This was heavy strict presses um, in the first part, so nothing great there. And then it was like a, a 12 minute split which involved um, like 50, 40, 30 on a meter, meter, uh, meter row, and then 25, 20, 15 on lighter weight power snatches. And you can't really tell much of a difference between the chest strap and the whoop band. I would dare say this is more accurate than when it was on my stinking bicep. Now, maybe I've got a good blood flow backside. I don't know how that's going to compare with other people. But think about this. If you actually have problems with tattoos, you could just wear it on your underwear. And you're getting this level accuracy? Forget about it. I mean, look at that. There's some double under practice at the end. Spot on. I mean, in testing a lot of optical sensors, this is spot on. And so with that, let's talk about it in summary. All right, so they have it. High quality production. I said in the, in, in, the, in the middle part, obviously it's a tighter fit, so it's made to be tighter, so it holds up against your body, so it is a little bit annoying because I wear a medium and it, it just feels a little bit tight, so just be conscious of that if you're on the bubble between one size and the next size up. You might want to consider the next size up. I don't know if it's going to be too loose. I can't speak to those things, but besides it being too tight and the fact that it doesn't have a flap, this thing is a genius concept because again, you don't have to put anything on. You just swap it out when you change out your underwear and you put it back on and you're off about your day. You don't even think about all the activity detection is picking up perfectly and obviously incredibly stellar 
heart rate accuracy so far. Still a lot to come. We're gonna continue to test the heart rate accuracy. I'm gonna share my results after wearing these. And I'm just gonna have to cycle these four through the wash a bunch of times after wearing these for two weeks. And we'll come back together and talk about the final results. So for now, that's the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.